Hello everyone, back to tuning in to today's second video. We're looking at the ECM WF Extended model for today's second video. So this is your EC42 Daya for the UK and for Island Focus as well. I should get on that for you in a moment. Just to say that the first video release today was 6am broadcast. We've also got Jeremy Friday and a 10 to 14 day coming up later on today as well. Please like, share, subscribe on all today's videos and content. Thank you so much everybody for doing that. This video would normally be released on a Saturday morning but once a week we do release uh, this on a Friday morning due to Saturday morning being uh, given over to the season one round. So we've got the third and final autumn 2023 season one round coming up for you um tomorrow at 10 a.m actually so that's the reason that uh this video has been shunted back 24 hours to friday okay let's have a look then so we're going to start off with the week one mean seal pressure anomaly taking us from the 28th of august to the 4th of september this week we'll have low pressure in the atlantic and into many parts of Western Europe as well. The 500 millibar height anomaly has an area of below average height through the West and North of Europe, a ridge of above average heights is out in the Atlantic, and the jet stream is pushed southwards uh, rather like that. So next week is looking uh, unsettled and a little bit on the cool side. The temperature anomaly for next week is coming out around to maybe even a little bit below average, particularly so for England and Wales, most parts of Western Europe also coming out with below average temperatures as well, by the way. Uh, Substation wise, yes, it does look a bit on the wet side, particularly for England and Wales, a little bit less so further north and west. But overall, an unsettled week to come uh, next week to start us off. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, week two will be before to the 11th of September, still looking rather unsettled with a mean seal pressure anomaly, lower pressure through the northwest Europe, high pressures pulled out into the Atlantic as well. Let's have a look at 500 millibar heights, see how they're shaping up. So, um, again, we've got a ridge in the Atlantic, got a bit of a mid-Atlantic ridge type pattern there. Uh, high pressures over on the far east side of Europe as well. And in between, I think it means that the pressure only gives it away. There's probably going to be a chop of below average heights through there, I would have thought, bringing unsettled conditions still through the Atlantic and much of Northern Europe. Temperature anomaly increases a little bit, goes close to average, let's put scale up. Oops, um, there we go. So uh, it's like average to like slightly above there. Um, not particularly big deviation. Precipitation looks like that. Already oh, quite a weak signal, interestingly. So wetter than average just to over just the east, driving average out to the west of the coach. I think that could still be quite an unsettled week. Week three! <laughs> it's going to be the 11th to the 18th of September. Not much change. High pressure is still in the Atlantic. Uh, there's been a low pressure around Scandinavia. Could that bring in quite a cool northerly flow? I wonder. See what 500 millibar heights are doing. So again, we find a ridge of above average heights in the Atlantic going up towards Greenland. Some lower pressure through here. That could open the door to like a northwesterly, maybe even something of a northerly influence. The temperature is still a little bit above average. I mean, it's dubious about that, a bit surprised, um, but uh, it's near normal to ever so slightly above, it's not a, not a big, big deviation to be honest, and precipitation looks a little bit drier just out to our west and uh, wetter over to the east of the country once more. Week 4 is the 18th, 25th of September, a bit of a change with higher pressure starting to appear around the UK and Ireland, so that should be starting to go a little bit drier. There we see from the 500 millibar heights as well. We've got some high pressure slipping into the country. Temperature normally is uh, again average to ever so ever so ever so slightly above, but it isn't a big deviation. Precipitation, as you expect, with high pressure reaching in, uh, goes uh, a little bit on the drier side. Quite weeks in because it's four weeks out. Remember though, week five, being the 25th of September, second of October. Still a little bit of an anti-cyclonic signal there for western parts of Europe. Lower pressure is uh, down here as well. 500 millibar height expands out the high pressure. So by the time you get through to late, later in September, we have much more of an anti-cyclonic signal starting to appear here. Temperatures again, a little bit above average. 
Um, precipitation looking somewhat on the drier than average side then. And then finally, week six will be the second to the ninth of October. Very weak single, so I'll just put in a couple of question marks there. We'll have a look at the 500 millibar height, see how they're shaping up. Um, now most of the high pressure going northwards, still a little bit of a reach though, somewhere around Western Europe, but I, that, does look, <laughs> that does look rather flimsy, I have to say. So I would assume we're reverting back to a more unsettled pattern there, uh, re establishing a westerly flow. The temperature normally is a bit above average, and precipitation. Very weak signal, but notice it's starting to go rather wetter just out to our west. So perhaps turning uh, more unsettled through early October there after a little bit of high pressure in the second half of the month. Right, OK, so it, it um, all looks rather uh, average, I have to say. You know, nothing particularly interesting or, or, or exciting standing out there. I suppose, like, if we do get a, a week or two of uh, northwesterly to northerly winds through the first half of September, that could be quite cool, despite no evidence of that with temperature. Normally, these um, longer range miles, you know, are very much skewed towards warmer and average temperatures. So I, I would have thought that if we do set up, like, a mid-Atlantic region, some sort of northwesterly winds um, or northerly winds in the first half of September, by mid-month, we might have a, a cooler than average sea team and uh, whatnot, but then if high pressure comes back in in the second half of the month, it could get uh, a little bit um, warmer. But anyway, that's all you missed week, just a snapshot of what Molly Shane look, could look completely different when we we'll look at this again uh, next week. And of course, next week's um, updates will be on Tuesday for the wider European outlook and Saturday next week for uh, the UK and Ireland focus. You're going to find out very, very shortly uh, what JMA Friday has to say about all of this. Normally, I'm to wait 24 hours to see whether the EC extended extended it's in agreement with the Jeremy and the CFF, but you're only going to have to wait an hour or two. Um, and then uh, you'll be able to see what Jeremy Friday is uh, is suggesting. So that's the next video up. And then after that, we've got a 10 to 14 day. If you enjoyed the video and forecast, if you like, share, subscribe. Thanks so much for doing that. Thanks so much to ECM.it for supplying the charts. And for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.